Hey guys, this is going to be the vendor day host video. Just wanted to cover the basics so there's no more confusion upstairs. First and foremost, serving size of samples. This has been a big one. We've now switched to where every single bull piece on the bongs upstairs is the exact same size um, and they're more individually sized now. So it will be a leveled off full bowl when it comes to flour for serving sizes on samples. When it comes to the dabs, you're shooting for slightly smaller than the size of a popcorn kernel per strain per person type of situation. So slightly smaller than a popcorn kernel. Second thing about vendor day hosting is when you don't have customers and you're not actively on social media, there's other tasks you can be completing. We want you guys to be cleaning a minimum of four bongs per shift. I'm going to have either a video or something to break down the cleaning of the bongs for you guys exactly how we want it done each and every time. Also, we're gonna have you guys start working on cards and labels upstairs. Um, somebody on the floor will get up to you the information so that you're able to sit and write them out. We all know how difficult it is to do these cards on the floor while we have customers coming in and out without proper table space right now. Um, and then lastly, the social media. So this has become kind of vague. You guys seem to be just, you know, the following, the liking of comments, things like that. Um, it's, it's more than that. You want to be engaged. Um, finding relevant posts, trending posts, posts that are local. Um, <clears throat> with Instagram, when you guys do a search, when you click on the search bar, you can swipe over to nearby places and it will pop up and show you the top posts for nearby places. Um, we want you responding to other people's comments, um, ongoing conversations with actual people, things like that. Um, more than just trying to hit that like button 400 times in your shift. Any questions about that at all, let me know. If need be, I can make a video for that as well. Hey guys, bong cleaning video. Um, the way we want the bongs to be cleaned, first and foremost, empty it into the toilet. Um, the toilet won't plug like the drain does with the black chunks. So empty the bong into the toilet, fill it and empty it a couple times to try to get the larger chunks out. Then um, fill up to three inches with the rubbing alcohol that we provide. Let it soak for a little bit if you need to. Plug both holes in the bong with paper towels prior to shaking it. If you need to add salt in to break up the resin, do that as well. After you've shaken it and you get it all broken off, empty the bong into the toilet and flush it with clean water multiple, multiple times back into the toilet until it's completely clean. Um, after you, uh, when you go to take the plug out, the paper towel plug, make sure you twist it because it gets all the resiny off the mouthpiece and whatnot as well. Goal is four bongs per shift, but as many as you can get done is helpful. Also, um, all the paraphernalia, bongs, pipes, uh, emails, anything that we provide for the flights and samples, those must stay on the bud tender table. Um, we do not provide paraphernalia for outside product. Um, I'm not, we're not gonna make you guys police customers and um, we're not gonna make it to where customers can't bring in their own product because that just really makes you having to constantly be saying stuff to them. And we don't wanna put you in that position, but we are not, we are not going to be providing paraphernalia for outside products. So all of that stuff stays on your table.